And here giving you my Kano deck profile. Now I know, brute this, brute that, Benjamin. Well, Kano also is very good. And the only reason why is because you do what one thing only, and that's OTK. We play an OTK deck and that's all we're playing. So, we need our weapon, Crystal Vaitha Weave. We don't really use this ability to gain the extra damage. We can use it for our combo, but you know, that's it. We need our boots. Our boots. This is integral to the combo. If you don't set it up correctly, you need this. But if not, you can do it without. Talisman, head, lens thing, it's good. You don't need it, it's just, just extra digging. And Goliath Gauntlet, just for a little bit of spice, a little bit of extra damage, and that's it. That's well, one, two, three. Am I missing something? Oh, yes. And the robe, the beautiful robe. This is the reason why this deck is possible. So, the main thing about this deck is you set up four drinks, you drink them all in one go. You take your shirt off, you crack your boots off, and then you can kill your opponent. And that's the combo. But, just like any other pocket sand deck, you need to fucking disappear from your opponent every turn. The holy grail of cards for this deck is three times snap potion and three energy potion. Now, you wanna just play these for the entire game. Set up these, you need Two time snap, and you need two energy potion. Doesn't matter how you set them up, but the best way is to Kano ability them off the top of your deck and put them on the field as an instant. Now, and the best way to set them up is Whispers of the Oracle. We play eight Whispers of the Oracle, doesn't matter which ones you play, and then eight Index. Index is a little better because it does more cards, but Whispers of the Oracle has go again, so it doesn't matter, you're playing Kano, you use the ability as an instant, you set up a card, you pitch a card, then use Kano ability and then just set up your potion. And then, yeah, so that's basically the entire deck. It's just how we get there, it's the way. And usually, it's just by pocket sending your opponent. Now, we're gonna take a lot of damage just playing Kano. We only have 30 health. So we need to protect ourselves until the end of the game. It doesn't matter, you're not attacking with anything. So the entire game, all you're doing is pr just protecting yourself and healing yourself. So we play three Sigil Solace Red. The yellow one's really bad, we don't need it for anything. If you're using it for anything, you'd probably just only be using the yellow one for pitching, that's why we don't use it. Three Fate Foreseen is really good just because it has Opt and it is a full defense reaction thing. Um, and uh, uh, it's, it's defense for four, yeah. Come on. And then, of course, sink below. Sink below, sink below. Now sink below is good, gets rid of the bad cards, and lets you draw those energy potions and the blue cards as well. And then to top it off, the best card ever, Red Unmovable. If, if I can pick them all up. Red Unmovable. So all of our defense reactions are red. The Sigil Solace is red too. You can play whatever you want, but this is what I like because they're all red, they defend for the most. Um, and yeah, uh, put this in your arsenal, defend from your opponent. Don't play the yellow one because it gets stuck there too long. And then that's all the defense reactions you play. So, to get to your entire engine, we need to draw cards. Now, Tome of the Eighth Wind is probably the best card because you can just play it, draw two cards, pitch Kano effect, and then, you know, uh, bloody uh, set up your energy potions or block or whatever. Doesn't matter, they're just for drawing, doesn't matter what you discard. 
Next card is still my favorite card of this set, Moon Wish. We play three red Moon Wish, two yellow. If this hits, then your Sun Kiss pops off for the turn. So when you're versing someone who has no idea what this deck does, if this manages to hit, then what you do, thank you, kind sir. You play Sun Kiss. Now, the best way to do it is with Moon Wish's effect, you put Sun Kiss on top of your deck, then you go Kano ability, play it, and then you draw, you gain life, and we play three, three, and three. Best card in your deck, I don't care what you do with it, but you play it in your deck. And if you don't manage to get the ability off, just block with it all, and that's, that's it. So what you've all been waiting for, the massive combo. I will show you how to do it, but these are the cards you play. Now, <coughs> Drone of Brutality, not the combo, but it helps you get there. Three yellow and one blue. Don't play, play the red. These are just so, if you are versing a deck out deck and they manage to get you in a weird spot, you just use these. But the actual combo of the deck, you play red, stir of the eighth winds, one red, forked lightning, and then three, blazing aether. This is the entire deck. This combo is so good, people used it in tournaments and I adapted it in my own way, where it's the cheapest variant possible and anyone can play this deck, anyone at all. And that's, this is the deck and I'll show you the combo now. So the combo, by the end of the game, you might have three health left or whatever, but it doesn't matter. You need one turn with defending with maybe one card, and then that's all you need. One card in your arsenal and three cards in your hand. I think it's three, one, two, three. One card in arsenal, three cards in hand. So you start off with by cracking one time snap potion. Oh, I feel too good actually. <laughs> Two times that potion. Oh. <laughs> I hope you like ASMR. To be fair, this was meant to be VBs, but the team pussied out. Two energy potions. This could be an energy drink instead of VBs, though. Oh, fuck. I actually really don't feel good. Don't call me a pussy, you fucking try it. Oh. Why don't we just do them half full? We take, we crack the robe using one of our types of that potions. Oh, fuck it. Oh, fuck. Oh. If you have energy for the stick, use the stick. Take off our shoes. You need to. Stir the aether winds. Fork lightning. So this right here is uh, ten damage. <coughs> Fuck. Turn that 10 damage. 
<laughs> it's another 10 damage. And then turn that 10 damage into 20 damage. So all up, that's 40 health. With this, 48 health. And if we fuck up the combo... Oh, shit. We play one Remembrance and you put it all back in your deck. That's it for me. I'll be back eventually with more videos. Alright, that's it.